But what we do know, Laura, is that the military um, were attacked yesterday in my diggery. One of their patrol vehicles uh, was attacked, and it's thought that this sparked what um, eyewitnesses, and in particular a reporter working for the Associated uh, Press, say was a revenge attack. Um, it appears, according to that Associated Press reporter, that uh, the soldiers uh, raided people's homes, burn people's homes and businesses, and in the process, according to this reporter, civilians were killed. Now, it's not clear from the information we've been able to receive um, exactly how many were killed. Um, what the reporter does say is that those dead appeared not to be carrying any kinds of weapons or arms. It's very difficult to verify the exact details of this story because it happened late at night. Uh, there's no video or still photography that's emerged. There's no comment whatsoever from the military on this accusation of a retaliatory attack in which civilians are said to have been killed. And I suspect that the military will deny all such allegations. Uh, well, what's the fear that incidents such as these are only going to strengthen public sentiment in favour of Boko Haram in that region? Well, there is absolutely no public favour in Boko Haram to start with. Um, clearly, there has been an ongoing uh, battle, if you like, between Boko Haram suspects and uh, the military um, in many parts of northern Nigeria over the last few months. And there was a feeling that the military had been very successful in reducing the quantity, the scale of some of the attacks we've seen on symbols of Nigerian authority, on churches, an Islamic school was even blown up a week or so ago. But there's absolutely no Nigerian um, public sentiment of support for Boko Haram. Clearly, there must be an investigation uh, into what has happened here if, as we're being told, as we're reporting, um, civilians have been killed because of, of anger, because of, 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 of annoyance from the military that soldiers, their own soldiers were killed. Okay, Yvonne, thanks very much for that. We'll know, of course, more as a day gets underway there in Nigeria.